wanted to give you a quick garden update. As you can see, it is blowing like crazy out here. And I've got the cloth here to protect my sugar snap peas. But if I come inside, you can see the sugar snap peas are not bothered at all. Even though you can hear the wind howling, it's nice and peace and calm in here. That really helps the plants grow healthy and strong without all the fatigue of getting wind blown here. As you can also see, the sugar snap peas are all getting all the way up to the canopy. I need to come in here and lower these strings, which will drop the, the plants down so they can continue to grow and we can continue to harvest. Got some really nice looking pods down here. I'll be out here shortly picking the sugar snap peas. My red potatoes are starting to come up out of the ground, so it's time to feed them the weekly feed. You can see they're coming up great all across here. Uh, you also see that I've got a mead uh, outdoor and indoor thermometer. This one actually has a probe on it. I'll have a video on this shortly. I've been testing this out. It's working great. I like this probe because I can put it down inside the soil and get the soil temperature and humidity. Then I have one without the probe inside the sugar snap peas so I can see how hot it is in there so I know when to remove the cloth. And then there's an inside station that gives me the inside and, and up to three other exterior station data. Really cool. I really like that. Makes me feel comfortable in knowing I'm not going to get my plants too hot. But anyway, these are all looking great. You can see this popping up everywhere across the garden bed here. Now up to here is when I planted the full potatoes. And here I cut the potatoes and made eyes. And you can see they all are coming up great. Several of them have multiple eyes coming up at the same time here. And so everything's looking very good with this. I'll start my weekly feed on here today. and. Water them just like I have with the other beds, and they should produce really well. The onions here are doing well. Other than, I mean, they're really thick and healthy looking, very green. Uh, you can see the stalks here look outstanding. The only problem is, is they're getting so tall, the wind is just really beating them up. I need to get my plastic and build my arches on top of here so I can drop down the not the plastic, but the fabric to give them wind protection like I have in the sugar snap pea bed. But very happy with how these have grown. Just phenomenal. Just to kind of give you a comparison, these were planted, I don't remember exactly when, but uh, late winter, uh, uh, several weeks ago. And the next ones I'm going to show you were planted last year in the back to Eden garden. So these are a year old and you can see they're not even near the same size. So again it's the hidden hunger that these plants are not getting the nutrients that they need from the decomposing wood chips. So it was easy but just not productive. Here are my red onions. They're doing quite well too getting really beat up by the wind. As you can see, I removed the plastic because it's just too hot. It's in the 70s. We'll be in the possibly 80s today, so I don't want to burn up the plants underneath the plastic. Removed it completely so they can get the air circulation and not get too hot. And then this evening, we're going to be back down into the 34, and so I'll put this plastic back over it. And in a few days, I'll just completely remove this plastic and just put up the fabric. One thing that I do encourage you to get is some kind of a little meter like this. I'll have a link below where you can pick this up. This happens to show uh, moisture, light, and pH. But what you're really looking for is a moisture meter. As you're learning how much water your plants need, it's really easy to take this and just put it right in the garden and see if you need to extend your watering or if you're overwatering. Right now I'm watering for 60 seconds once a day at 7 a.m. and I have it on the automatic watering system for my lawn. My strawberries are really doing well. The very young ones put out small strawberries. I pick those off and then it encourages them to grow larger strawberries. We got some great looking strawberries here and I've been eating them and enjoying them for about a, oh, several weeks now. 
but just gorgeous looking strawberries. I'll be picking these uh, just before I go and fertilize them with the weekly feed. One thing I have noticed here, I've been getting a lot of the growing medium pushed up from underneath and I notice I've got ants right in here. So I'm just going to throw some diatomaceous earth down after I uh, fertilize them today and they'll take care of the ants. I get my food grade diatomaceous earth locally at a feed store. Here's a closer look at the honeybees. They're doing very well. The queens are laying lots of eggs. Uh, I just did an updated video on how I've changed the feeding up here. So take a look at the top feeder update. The trees have responded very well to the weekly feed that I gave them. They all look very healthy and are doing great. I have a video on how much to feed your trees depending on the diameter of the trunks. I've been harvesting the beets. They're almost all gone. Hopefully you enjoyed the beet chip video I made on how we made chips from our beets. And don't forget to eat your beet greens. These are wonderful. Just put them in a salad. They have great flavor and they'll be awesome. Of course, as I mentioned several times in other videos, these make a great addition to your green salads. These are completely edible flowers. Here we are over with the Brussels sprouts and the bok choy and our edible flowers here. We get the honeybees out here working, getting their nectar so they can store more honey. Things are going well. Obviously I need to harvest this. This is way overdue from being harvested. Hopefully you can see this well. This is just one of the sugar snap peas that I just opened up here. You can see the peas inside the pods. But we've got lots of sugar snap peas here hanging here on the vines and it's time to harvest them. So we'll be eating some sugar snap peas for lunch and probably for dinner this evening. We've got a fam home evening with the empty nesters group. We'll be sharing these with, with the soup and salad dinner we're having. If you're looking for a very rewarding gardening experience and you want to learn how to garden with high yields and very little work with just feeding them once a week, please take a look at the links below for the Midlighter Gardening Method. Come over to the Facebook group, join the group, post questions, post updates. I highly recommend getting the Midlighter Gardening Course book and the Gardening Library CD, which give you all the information you need to have to have a bountiful garden in your backyard. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you plant a Midlighter garden, you can have beautiful, wonderful harvests in your own backyard.